Hey man, listen to Taylor Swift right now, huh? What? Hey. What? No. Okay. Of course not. No. Hey, what is up guys? I'm KBHD here, and AirPods. Remember these? These are finally Apple's AirPods. They were introduced alongside the iPhone 7, if you remember, and then there were a bunch of delays, a bunch more delays, and a bunch more, but now they're finally here. So in case you forgot, what's actually special about these, besides just the fact that they're wireless, is the W1 chip. This is new, and if you can get past the fact that they look like a slightly larger version of the Apple EarPods with a longer stem and the weird, if you can get past all the jokes, this is what you should actually know about them. The W1 chip was introduced for easy pairing of these AirPods and anything with that chip to all of your Apple devices without you having to sign in. So as long as you have an Apple ID on your device, so for me, that's my iPhone, my iPad, and even my MacBook Pro, this will be able to pair with all of them instantly via Bluetooth. So this is not the first pair of headphones to come out with this chip. The Apple made Beats Solo 3 actually had them. And I've demoed them in a previous video, but here's how it works. You open the case that they come in for the first time with the iPhone somewhere near it. This turns it on. The iPhone finds the headphones, pairs to them, and you're connected, just like that. With that one button press, these AirPods are now connected not just to my iPhone, but they're ready to play on any and all of my Apple devices, and I don't have to do this process again. Also, there's a little bit more tech inside these besides just the drivers and the batteries. There's an accelerometer and a pair of proximity sensors. You can see the little dots on the outside and these are basically to be able to tell if it's in your ear or not. And there's also a touch sensor on the back of the earbuds for further controls. All of this means you're gonna have some smart tricks up your sleeve with the AirPods, mainly just for convenience. So first of all, when they're in the case, they're charging and off. If you take them out of the case, they turn on and they connect to everything. When you put it in your ear, your audio automatically starts playing. It uses the proximity sensor to automatically start playing your music. When you take one of the ear pods out of your ear, it automatically pauses. So it's kind of neat if one of them falls out or if you take it out, you might be listening to music and you immediately want to just pause it and listen to someone talk. You can just pull it out your ear and all of it stops and you can hear what people are saying. Once you put the earbud back in, the music starts up playing again. And what's cool is since there's actually no inline controls where you would normally find them on a wire, there are play pause controls on the side of the earbud itself. So there are touch controls a single tap on the side of the earbud will activate play pause and you can actually double tap to activate Siri from your iPhone or from your Mac and it will use the microphone built into the AirPods themselves to listen to you. Now it's Siri so it has its flaws but it can be pretty useful like you can change the volume of what you're listening to by double tapping and asking Siri to turn up the volume. Or if you're paired to your iPhone and you're walking outside you can say to navigate somewhere and you'll hear the directions in your ear in the AirPods which is pretty useful. So that's what you can do right out the box with the AirPods. As far as audio quality goes, they're pretty similar, if not a little bit better than the EarPods, uh, but they're the exact same shape as the EarPods. So if those worked well for your ears, then these will stay in your ears as well. So it might sound weird to say, but like the wire in between the earbuds of normal wireless earbuds or just regular headphones is actually like a convenience feature. If one of them falls out your ear, you don't have to go looking for it because it's attached to the wire. It's kind of a strange thing to think of it that way, but that's kind of what this is teaching us. The battery life on these is five hours on a charge, which is a little bit less than what I'm used to with the Jaybird X3s, which will go around eight hours. But what's really convenient is, again, that case. It's really a big part of using these AirPods, that case with the wireless charging. You slip it in with the magnets, you snap them into place, and you can add three hours of listening time in just 15 minutes. So that's about half battery and 15 minutes of charging in there. And then you can total about 24 additional hours of listening time by putting them in the case all day. So if you commute to work and you listen to these like an hour each way, you can probably go a whole week without actually charging these. So these things are on sale now and they'll retail for $159. But again, if you order them right now, you won't get them till like 2017, they're still delayed. So would I recommend these over a similar pair of wireless earbuds like my Jaybird X3s? 
No, I'd still prefer those. I don't really like these that much, but I like them more than I thought I would, and that's a good sign. I think it's because of all the tech inside, because of the mics and the proximity sensors and the auto play and pause. That kind of stuff is really cool. So now it's out. I don't know what took so long, but the AirPods are finally out. The choice is yours. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.